Hi there, this is the first in a series of some lessons on InDesign and working with styles within InDesign. Today's lesson is going to be talking about paragraph styles and character styles. Styles are kind of like a collection of attributes that allow you to quickly and consistently apply formatting to text and objects throughout a document. So what we're going to take a look at first of all is what a paragraph style is and how to create one. And they're really easy to do and they're invaluable. It's probably the most important thing of, about InDesign uh, short of maybe knowing how to create a document. So let's take a look at paragraph styles. Currently I have my paragraph styles panel open here over on the right and that came from going to window to styles and picking paragraph styles. So what we have here is a catalog and we're putting together some styles to expedite the production of this catalog on a monthly basis and so what we're going to do is we're going to develop some styles for different parts of the document. The first thing we're going to do is we have some subheads here and one of those subheads here is heirloom vegetable seeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to highlight that paragraph and I'm going to format it up the way I want it to look. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to apply uh, maybe a different property as far as text. Let me click on that. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change it from Minion Pro Regular. Let's change that to Minion Pro Italic. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump the size up. How about to 16 points? So I like that. I like the 16 points. Uh, I like the italics. And I'm also going to change some space after and some space before. So I'm going to come down here to paragraph and I'm going to find the icon here for space before. And I'm going to run space before up here to about, oh, let's say, uh, let me take a look here. Let me click. And let's see, how about about an eighth of an inch? And then after that, I'm going to add some other space after. I'm going to run this up to about, oh, let's say, how about an eighth of it. No, I don't want to do eighth of it. I'll do half that. So I want that certain amount of space before this automatically to add it. And I want a little bit of space extra after the text comes up after the subhead. Now, once I have that looking the way I want and the paragraph attributes I want, it's really easy. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to hide my properties panel. I'm going to come over here on my paragraph panel. And I'm going to come over here to the lower right and there's a little plus sign here. It used to look like a piece of paper, but it means if you click on it, you'll create a new style. Now I can click on this and it will create a style. Let me show you. And so right here, it's called paragraph style one. Now I'm going to undo that control Z or command Z on a Mac because I want to show you the way uh, it's probably a little bit easier. I'm going to go to the pop-out menu up here on the panel and I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick new paragraph style. The nice thing about that, it's going to bring up the new paragraph style dialog box and so I can give this a name. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give this the name of head 2. Uh, I'm not going to have this style based upon another style. Now you might not understand this but when somebody brought this text in they made up a style called intro body so the body text looked all the same. So they selected all the text and then they applied intro body. Well the thing of it is if you have it based upon a style and then you add a style to it any changes on the original based on style, intro body, will ripple through and affect it every time that's changed. So what I want is I want this style to be applied and have it to be independent. I don't want it based upon any other style. 
So I'm going to change based on to no paragraph style. I don't want it based upon any style. Also what I might do over here is I might click on the shortcut. And what I can do here is I'm going to add a keyboard shortcut so I can apply this style. So I'm just going to randomly pick on my Mac here the command key and I'll say command key 7. It says it's currently assigned to unassigned. So it's not replacing any other keyboard command within InDesign. Down in here are the style settings. All of these are the paragraph style settings. When you select this paragraph, all the attributes are applied or remembered in this style and it will apply all these same things again. So what I'm going to do next is this. It's kind of strange, but bear with me. I'm going to click the button Apply Style to Selection. And what that means, it's going to be as if I created the style, I highlighted the paragraph, and then I applied it. If I don't click this, and I go and I update this paragraph style for Head 2, unless it's been applied to this original text, my example text, it won't update. So this way, it's like I have applied the paragraph style called Head 2 to this paragraph. And if I ever make a change, it will update my example. So I'm going to click OK. What I'm going to do next is I'll click over here in Fruits and Flowers. And this is another location where I want to apply that Head 2 style. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to come over and look at my Paragraph Styles panel. And I'm going to notice that the Head 2 style is here. I have two choices. I can click here and apply it. Or I could have hit Command, Num, or Numeral, or Number Pad, 7. So let me click in Tools and Accessories. And this time, on the keyboard, I'm going to hit Command, and then the number 7 on the numeric keypad. So I can either do it by clicking over in the Paragraph Styles panel list, or I can hit the keyboard command. Did you notice that I didn't have to highlight the whole paragraph? When you have your cursor sitting in a paragraph, just blinking somewhere in the paragraph, and you apply the style, it will apply the style to the entire paragraph without you selecting the entire paragraph. Paragraph styles are fantastic. They keep things looking consistent. It's easy to update. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's say that we would like to all oh, take our heirloom vegetable seeds here and let's change the color of that. So I'm going to go over here to properties and I'm going to come over here on the appearance and I'm going to click on the T for fill. And let's say I change this to green brightest. That's a swatch I have in here. Now let me click off so you can see it. Okay, that's the color I want all these head twos to be. But you say, Mark, you've already applied the head two style to these two other heads and they didn't update. That's true. So let me show you this tip. When I reselect the paragraph here that I've changed the color of it, what I'm going to do next is I'm not going to create a brand new style. I'm going to show you something here. This is important. Notice over here where it says Head 2, there's a plus symbol. And that means this paragraph has the Head 2 style applied but it has a plus or something additional has been done to it. And that's that green color we added. So what I want to do is I'm going to ask InDesign to redefine this style called Head 2 
based upon this new attribute and this new look. In other words, redefine the style based upon the way it looks with the fill color of green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the name of the style, Head 2 Plus, and I'm going to say redefine the style based upon this new and improved look. And because it rewrote the specifications, the other two places where it was already applied are new, are now updated with that new attribute of the green color. See, this is the beautiful thing about paragraph styles. Once you start using them and you want to make a change, you can go change the definition or the specifications of the style, redefine it, and it updates in all 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 places you've used it in the document. So paragraph styles are just invaluable. A little bit later on, we'll show you that paragraph styles are also used to create an automatic table of contents, but that'll be another tutorial. So again, when we're going to do a paragraph style, we basically would go ahead and highlight the paragraph, format it up the way we want it, go to the paragraph styles panel, go to the pop-out menu and say new paragraph style, give it a name, and then Go through and click in a paragraph where you want to apply it, and then apply it. And know that you can go and you can highlight one of those paragraphs, like this one. And I can go and I can change an attribute. We'll say I'll change it to a different font here. How about Fat Frank? And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to close properties. Notice I've got a plus because it has a change to it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I can redefine the style based upon this new attribute of Fat Frank font. One last thing. I can click here. In fact, I'm going to go up and I'm going to go under edit and I'm going to deselect all to show you that without even anything selected, if I wanted to modify this style here called Head 2, I can double click on it, go in here, and click on the different attributes on the right, uh, excuse me, on the left here, and make changes. Let's say we go to Basic Character Formats, and we change the font again. Let me click here. And let me say I change it to, let's say, Georgia. Now notice this. In the lower left corner, there is a preview. So I can make changes to these paragraph style options right here and preview them and look at them as I make changes. I'm redefining, in this case, the font back to Georgia, we'll say. And I like it, so I'll click OK. And these other two places should have been updated. Let's see. Sure enough. So this is another way that you can go in and make changes to an existing style, and it will update wherever you've applied those styles. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. The next time we come back, we're going to look at uh, what are called character styles. Character styles. And also, we'll take a sneak peek into something called nesting styles. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you a little bit later. <music>